Hi, I'm Rose with Zapbug, and today we're going to be demonstrating step three in our eight step approach to get rid of bed bugs, dealing with large upholstered furniture. Upholstered furniture is among the most difficult to treat because bed bugs can easily get deep into the cushions or body of the furniture where it's really hard to reach them. But don't worry, they can be treated. We've seen a lot of people recommend steam cleaning upholstered furniture, but we found that it's not very effective. Unless you're an experienced professional, it's really difficult to get the steam to penetrate deep enough to ensure that the bed bugs are killed. So we don't recommend this as a DIY approach. Heat treatment can get upholstered furniture hot enough to kill bed bugs, but in this video, we're going to present you with another alternative you can use, and that's DDVP pest strips. DDVP stands for dichlorovinyl dimethyl phosphate, an organophosphate that has been used as an insecticide for decades. It works by blocking neurotransmitters in the insects, leading to paralysis and eventual death. DDVP pest strips are designed to be used in enclosed spaces, and for that reason our method requires sealing pest strips into a large bag with your upholstered furniture. It is very important to keep in mind that DDVP is a pesticide and can absolutely be dangerous to human health. For this reason, it is crucial that you read all the instructions that come with your pest strips and carefully follow all guidelines. If you have pets or small children, please consult with your vet or pediatrician to make sure that you're correctly following all procedures necessary to ensure their health. If for any reason you don't feel safe using pesticides in your home, we highly recommend heat treatment as a safe, non-toxic alternative. If heat treatment isn't an option for you, it may be best to simply dispose of the furniture. Each hotshot no pest strip is designed to be used in a space of up to 1200 cubic feet, so you should never use more than one strip. Do not use these strips in your kitchen or anywhere where food could come in contact with them, as they're highly toxic when ingested. For the purposes of this video, we're using a leather chair as a demonstration of upholstered furniture, but this will work just as well for couches or any other large items. The first thing we're going to do is put the chair into a large furniture bag. We've purchased Warp Brothers Cover All Furniture Bags from Amazon, but most hardware stores have something pretty similar. Remember to carefully measure your furniture before you purchase the bags. We bought these for use on a couch and found that while they were big enough, there wasn't any room to close the bag. So make sure you have something that's a little more than whatever you're treating. If the furniture you're treating is in a room where you'll be spending any significant amount of time, you should also make absolutely sure that the bag is completely sealed and doesn't have any rips. These strips specify that you don't want to spend more than about four hours a day in a room where they're in use. So it's really important that we do everything we can to limit our exposure. I'm going to put two bags over this chair just to be absolutely certain. Now that the furniture is bagged, I'm going to put on my gloves and proceed to carefully read over the Hotshot No Pest Strip application directions. Now I'm just going to take the strip, put it in the bag, and then seal everything closed with a zip tie. Now that the strip is in here, I'm just gonna leave the bag sealed for one week to make sure all the bugs are dead. In a week, I'm gonna remove the bags, dispose of the pest strip, and leave the chair in a room with all the windows open for several hours while I'm not there, so that any remaining DDVP can safely dissipate. You can also save your upholstered furniture using the Zap Bug Room, our largest heat treatment solution. It's a great way to avoid pesticides and still know that your bed bugs are dead. For more information, check out our video showing it in action. Next, we'll be moving on to step five, using diatomaceous earth. Please click here or check out the link in the description. You can also look at our full eight strip approach on our website, where we've included additional information as well as links to all our videos. Thanks for watching.